guys, I'm going to do a review on my Nerf Night Finder. Okay, I just woke up and got out of the shower because my hair's all wet. Um, but yeah, first thing about this gun, um, there's the blaster. You can see it all. Um, then you get three whistler darts with the blaster. So we just Oh, and you get a tactical light, or a red dot light, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and you can move it around. So if, if I don't move the blaster at all. Because you can see it going up and down, or side to side near the camera, like that. You can move it because of this thing. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's quite loud when you're clicking it actually. Let me just get it right there. Uh, the whistler darts say Nerf on them. Let me just move this. I've had to move that before in one of my other videos, but you know, <laughs> that's my dog's barking downstairs. But uh, the cocking handle, you can put your finger in it and then pull it back. Or you can grip it like that, pull it back. Or you can uh, grab it by this thing here, like that little thing, pull it back. There's loads of variations of what you can do by cocking it. Um, Got one tactical rail so you can attack any of the end strike uh <laughs> jump onto it. Uh but yeah, you can attach any attachments on it, like a scope or something, which is really cool. Um it's got a sight here. Tactical rail and then if you move it up a tiny bit, you can see the 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 little orange thing, but you have to I think that's because it doesn't go that far. Mine only goes about 20 feet, 18 feet, 20 feet. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you lift it up a tiny bit, you can put the line up the tactical rail like two prong, like like two a uh, uh, space like that. And then there's like a prong uh, in the middle. You can line it up like that. Uh, you don't have to pull the trigger back very far. So yeah, the dark came back all the way on. Uh yeah. Well yeah. It says nerf here. And here. Um I have a pretty big hand for my, for a twelve year old and my hand fits the the night finder perfectly. It's a perfect hand gun for me. It doesn't hold much ammo, but you know, it's a good accurate nerf gun. Because <laughs> I hit the camera. But yeah, guys, I would definitely recommend this. Um, I actually got it for two fifty on offer in the January sales in here in the UK at Argos at Christmas. Yeah, I got it for two fifty, or it might have been two seventy five. But I actually got two of these. But one, the light was broken. It didn't. It didn't have clicking spots. It was just free spinning everywhere. So if you press the, if you press that up, it just fall back down again. Or vice versa on the other side. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's about it. I think I said it's got a tactical rail, yeah. Uh, it holds two extra darts for you, yeah. Uh, there's, not a mo there's not much modding you can do apart from take the air restrictor out, though. If you are a modder, which I am not. I do not mod my Nerf blasters because I really don't like modding. Uh, yeah, I don't like modding my Nerf blasters, and neither does. Um, if you've checked out his channel before, check it out again. But if you know uh, War Gaming Warriors, if you watched his channel or any of his videos, go check him out. Well, not check him. Joe, <laughs> go check his channel out or videos because 
he does not mod his blasters. Any of his blasters, he does not mod them. He does not mod them. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I think that's about it for this review. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe, and goodbye.